creating a world in VR chat is super easy now. I'm gonna show you how we can create a world together using the new VR chat creator companion. Step number one is to create your own assets or download paid or free assets. To make a world, we're gonna need assets to fill up the space. And there are a few ways to be able to do this. The first way is creating models on your own in a 3D modeling program like Blend Blender, Blender, Blender. <laughs> or its paid counterpart, Maya. There are many other 3D programs out there. Choose a 3D program that you're most comfortable with to make your assets. I have the most experience with Maya because that's what I learned in college. So I'll be using Maya to create a few assets for my world. Coming up with a theme or a direction is a really great place to start if you have no idea what to model. It's gonna help build out an aesthetic for your world. I highly recommend Pinterest. It's one of my favorite places to find reference photos, to create mood boards, to start getting that inspiration flowing. Here's an example of a mood board where I gathered all the images from Pinterest for a world that I hope to be able to create someday as my VR knowledge and my 3D modeling knowledge continue to grow and come together. For now, I'm gonna use a medieval house that I made back in an introduction to Maya class, as well as a well that I made. A well. As well as a well. Hmm. I will be placing my own assets in our world, as well as going to the Unity Asset Store to download a few there. And this leads us to one of the other ways that you can get assets to fill up your world, and there are many places that you can do this. You can download assets off of places like the Unity Marketplace, Booth, Gumroad, or anywhere else that you can find 3D models. And make sure to check the permission of the packs that you're downloading, so that you can make sure that you're using them correctly. I'll be using a combo of Unity Assets from their store, as well as my own. People will oftentimes use assets from different packs in order to to mix them together to create their world. This is known as kit bashing. It is quite popular, but again, not every creator wants their assets to be kit bashed, so make sure you check the terms and read up on that for each individual pack. Step number two is to download the creator companion. VRChat has done a fantastic job at making the experience seamless for avatar creation and world creation by developing the creator companion. You'll be able to download the creator companion, which always makes sure that things are up to date and you can see all your version numbers within the app. And it also has additional tools that you can utilize and download right within the Creator Companion. And they also have great guides on their website that you can check out for additional info. They have information on creating both avatars and worlds, and I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check that out. Step number three is to download the Unity Hub. Unity is the game engine that's going to allow us to create and edit our world. Let's download the Unity Hub, which will give you easy access to switch between and download different versions of Unity. The Creator Companion that we downloaded earlier should point you to the correct version of Unity that you should be using. For this video, I'm installing version 2022.3.6 F1. Step number four is to create a new world project in the Creator Companion. Select Projects, create a new project, and select Unity 2022 World Project. You can name the project, whatever works for you. I like to name mine after the first word that comes to mind, so let's see, bread. Just kidding, definitely needed something that makes sense. Or don't. Once your project is open, log into the VRChat SDK and you should see a base world prepared in the hierarchy to the left. I'm gonna download the assets that I wanna use off of the Unity store next. If you wanna follow along, feel free to grab those. If you're logged into Unity, you should be able to download and grab the assets directly from the website page. This will open the package manager and allow you to begin downloading and bringing your desired assets into your project. Your assets will be located on the bottom and to the left. This is where you can select the objects and drop them into your world to begin decorating. Here's an example of dropping a few items. So if I go to low poly environment, open the prefabs, let's look at the trees. You can just click and drag and drop and then click W to get this little icon to move it around in 3D space. And if I want to duplicate, I can click Control D on my keyboard, click W again so that I can move it. And there we go. If I want a few other assets, we can go scroll down, go to low poly village, prefabs, modular, here's the bridge. Then you could drop, for instance, that in. There we go. And a few other notes worth mentioning is try to tell stories in your world as much as you can. So for example, I have this stone straight up while this one is knocked over, indicating that maybe some type of destruction or somebody came in and knocked the stone over. Maybe this building has been here for a really long time. And another example I have, I'm just gonna click on this fence back here and click F to frame it to bring me back here. And if we look here, this fence is broken and then this one is broken and fallen over. So again, indicating that maybe somebody came in through the back. And adding these little details and stories around your map is really gonna make it feel that much more enchanting. If you're bringing in your own assets, 
First, you'll export the model as an FBX out of your modeling program, import that FBX into Unity, you'll have to go ahead and drag and drop it into the scene, and import the textures as well. I use Substance Painter for my textures and actually followed the tutorial for getting the right textures exported from there. Once the FBX and textures are in Unity, create new materials and attach your textures to those materials to their correct piece. I usually start by right clicking and creating a new folder, and I'll call that the name of whatever object I'm adding of mine. So I did me Medieval House, Medi House, Medieval House over here, but I just have a new one right there. I'm gonna double click in there, right click on the blank space, create, and then we'll do material, and then you can name that material. I'll just call it test. And over here, everything will appear in the inspector, which is where you're gonna drag your textures. And each of your textures will have a name when you click it. So if I click on one of my textures, we're gonna see that it says Albedo here. And as we know, if we click on a material, so I'll usually click this little lock icon up here to keep this up so that it doesn't switch. And when I go back to my assets folder and go into my textures, I can go ahead and click on this and then drag it into the Albedo and let go. And that will add the texture to the space. And once you have your material fully filled out, you're going to click it and drag it to where it belongs in the scenes. So this was the roof, for example, so we'll go ahead and just drop it there. And now you can see that's the roof. And don't forget to set your spawn point by moving this piece in the position you want the player to spawn. This is where the users are going to appear when they first join your world. Step number five is build and publish your world. Open the VRChat SDK, give your world a name and a description, and make sure to select any content warnings that apply to your world as well. Like mine is obviously mega scary. Better check that box. Just kidding. How scary can blossom trees really? Ah! Also, make sure to hit this button in order to publish your world. Next, click build and upload. Now, your world is going to show up as a private world unless you make it public. You'll have to invite people or invite your friends over to the world. However, if you want to make it public for everyone to see, I've already done it so it's not here, but you should see something that says publish to community labs. And then you can always unpublish it as well. And you can also push updates as well if you're changing your world or adding something new. And step number six is to visit your world. Yay, you can now visit your world and invite over some friends. Make sure to check and see if anything needs to be edited or changed. Like for example, I the well is floating. <laughs> I need to fix that for sure. A world can look one way while in Unity, but seeing it in VR, it might give you a few ideas on how to make it more VR friendly and immersive. And a big piece of something that I remembered when I first started was I placed one of my own VR chat models into the scene to make sure that the scale was correct because you want to have a scale for how tall maybe a humanoid person is so that you're not making everything way too big or way too small so that when you get into VR, the scale is off. Like the house is way too huge or way too tiny. That's pretty important. And I'd love to see the worlds that you've worked on. So please leave a comment below linking me out to the VR chat world that you've made. Are you interested in learning how to create your own avatars next? Check out this video for a guide on how to upload your own avatars to VRChat.